The study, very briefly, is interested in the neural basis of choking, not choking someone out or not anything else related to choking, but when one feels that the stakes are really high and suddenly ability falls away. Mm -hmm. What is that? So what they did is they developed this game where essentially the potential payoff in this game while recording from neurons in the brain is either low, medium, or very high, or the occasional jackpot. Like you could just win the whole thing and the, the payoff is, is very, very considerable. Then they looked at the amount of upper motor neuron recruitment, so essentially the areas of the brain that drive coordinated um, muscular behavior or action. And what they found is that it basically scales with the level of reward. So you get more um, neuronal engagement as the reward scales up. However, every time the jackpot was offered, it over-engages too many motor neurons. And so the, this notion of cho of like choking when the stakes are so really, really high. So you have really irradiation high, that you cannot control. Exactly. It's like spillover yeah, of like, yeah. it's like too much, we could call it too much excitement, but it's not adrenaline in this case, although that's probably associated with it. But you think, oh, great, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to get an award. I'm going to get a bigger or even bigger. Award. Okay. Oh my goodness. This could change everything. And all of a sudden performance just tanks. And so it turns out it's, it's a brain, it's a brain thing at the level of over recruitment, which just speaks to this idea of being able to maintain arousal within a certain range yeah. is an essential skill to any performer. I just and thought also, I'd share that because it's a fun set of results. That's and, all these consistent and since I was a little kid, if I learned something, I, I, yeah. I have to share it with somebody who I think might, might uh, care. So if ever people wonder about the, uh, why people choke, it's, it, it is a hyper arousal at the level of the brain, not, apparently not so much the body. Well, yeah. being able to control arousal, it's such a key skill for an athlete. 